integrate sine x over 1 plus cosine squared of x. So if we let u be the entire bottom piece, um, if we think about it, what's going to happen, we're going to have to use the chain rule. We'll, we'll get du, which is 2 cosine x, and then times the derivative of the inside. So we'll end up with a cosine and a sine. And we only have a sine up here. Okay, So, so letting u be the entire bottom piece uh, is probably not a good strategy. But if we let u be cosine, then the derivative of that is negative sine. And so we have a sine up top. So that seems to appear to be a better strategy. Even if you don't see how to do the rest of the problem, it's, it's a better strategy than letting u be the entire bottom piece. So if we let u be equal to cosine, then du, that's the derivative. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then we have our dx here. And in our integrand, we have a sine x dx. Here we have negative sine x dx. So we have to get rid of the negative by dividing by negative 1. So this is negative du equals sine x dx. OK, so uh, now we can make our substitution. So our sine x dx is just negative du. So I'll put the negative on the outside. Then we have 1 over 1 plus u squared du, right? Because u is equal to 2 cosine. So now there's a familiar formula. This is just the arctangent of u, but let me just refresh your memory. If we have 1 over a squared plus, let's say, x squared dx, the formula tells us that this is 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus our constant of integration, capital C. So this is the formula for arctan. So here it's really 1 squared. So it's negative, it's just negative. And then we have 1 over a, a is 1, so it's 1 over 1. Arctangent of, instead of x over a, it's u over 1, and then plus our constant, capital C. So 1 over 1 is 1, so this is just negative arctangent of, and then u was cosine x. So this is just the arctangent of cosine x. And then we have plus our capital C, which is our constant of integration. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.